Okay, switch over to this view so you can see the station better. And you can see the display. I'll dim it down a little bit so you can see the display. What's on the display? It's got things like station graphics. So you can see what happens when you... With a tip, it goes... The blue curve is the power percentage curve and the red is the tip temperature hits the target settles at about I don't know about seven percent drops down to about five let's get a board and see if we can use it to remove the screw hole. Might need a bit of solder. Remove the screw hole and it hit about seventy per cent power. Used about seventy per cent of its power as it tries to maintain temperature. We can test it with a bit of water. see if you go to 100% power as the water this water has huge thermal mass let's put it back there Tool settings, you can set temperature level, sleep delay, sleep temperature, hibernation delay. It's got counters for hours, working hours, plug hours, sleep hours, hibernation hours. No tools hours, sleep cycle. It's got the graphics, which you can export to your computer or save onto a USB. And it's got the reset. And the station settings, got name, temperature unit setting, maximum temperature, minimum temperature, Set sound on and off, date and time, robot on and off, set pin number, and station reset. Let's let's try out the steady tweezers. Oop, put the knife. I'll put the knife bit. I want to. see it properly from this angle got it in there and it's got a little groove in the side of the station here that allows you to twist the 
twist the uh, the tips so you can align the flat blade and it's got a little dial here to allow you to adjust the alignment of the tweezers put that back that's about it for the basic uh, unboxing and setup it's it can switch very quickly and the nano tweezers can use any of the tips tip cartridges for the soldering station uh, soldering iron so all the tips can work in either of these tools you can mix the tips in the nano tweezers and use them like a double barrel soldering iron okay that's about it and if you want to see this thing in action um, I'll do some follow-up videos under the microscope thanks bye